Good morning. Good morning. The Finance Committee of the Forest Reserve District of Cook County will come to order. Madam Secretary, would you call the roll? <coughs> Madam Mr. Chairman, we have a quorum. Thank you. The Secretary has informed me we have a quorum. We can conduct the business of our committee. Any changes to the agenda, Madam Secretary? There was an error in the revenue report that was distributed with the finance agenda. The correct date at the top of your report, the report was distributed on your desk, and the correct date is January 31st, 2011. Some of you may have it in your agenda. It was a confused error. Great. Thank you. So noted. Any other changes? No, sir. Any members have any changes to the agenda? There being none, the chair recognizes Vice Chairman Steele. Mr. Chair, we'd like to move approval of disbursements on items number 11. 1683 through 111697. Second. There's a second. second. Butler. Discussion? Question, uh, Mr. Chair. Vice Chairman. On item number 111697, Great Arch Technology, can someone just kind of come and tell us what this um, iPhone Blackberry application is doing? I don't have it. General Superintendent. I'm going to ask Mary Lariah, our Deputy General Superintendent, to speak to that. Hello, Commissioners. Our IT department has been working for over a year on an application for any smartphone uh, that will enable people to pull up activities and directions that are going on in the forest preserves. And so we will have, when this is completed over the next couple of months, a demonstration for you, on, and it will be free, and people can, can find their way to good events in the forest preserves. Great. Thank you. Any other questions? Commissioner Collins? And who who the who will these phones be applied to? Anyone who has a BlackBerry, an iPhone, can go on their application icon and pull this down for free. So it is generally available to about well, actually, ninety percent of people who have smartphones. Okay, will it cost us anything? It has only cost us the development of the application, it will be free to the users. How much is the development? How much is the cost? Our um, cost? The total, total cost. development cost, I have to ask. I will have to get that to you, I think. We're only on in the end of it at this point. And that's what this $36,000 is. OK, I, you, I you know, please answer. If we could, and, and let me just say something, and <laughs> I'm not being disrespectful. <laughs> when you guys come to committee, um, would you please have information like that with you? <laughs> Excuse me, we do, Commissioner Collins, and I, I apologize. It's $157,000 total. Um, and it was uh, approved by the board. Yeah. Commissioner Collins, are you done? Um, yeah. Um, uh, no. <laughs> well, let me just to say that uh, as we move forward, I, I think it's going to be very important that we not spend money on anything that's not essential. I understand the Forest Reserve is independent of the board, but I also understand that the board has always been there to help um, the Forest Reserve in terms of taking the load for certain t types of services and whatever, uh, which, which would, would cost money. So I think we ought to begin to think about what's essential, absolutely essential, and what's not before we make expenditures. Vice Chairman Steele. Mr. Chair, I mean, um, no, no complaint against Commissioner Collins' comments, but I think in, in terms of the superintendent's move to get more people involved with the Forest Reserve, this is a great opportunity for them to ex uh, use this as an opportunity to expand also to Botanic Gardens and other, other uh, applications in our Forest Reserve to find their way through. And I think this is a good opportunity for us to get more people involved with what we're doing across the Forest Reserve. So uh, thank you guys for continuing the work that you started, and uh, hopefully this will make some uh, added value to us in the future. Thank you. Uh, Superintendent. Yeah. Uh, Commissioner uh, Collins, I, I absolutely uh, understand your point, and, re and we, uh, we need to be extremely fiscally responsible, particularly in these difficult times. So I want to acknowledge that, and, and I wholeheartedly agree. Uh, to Commissioner uh, Steele's point, though, uh, w one of the big issues, I think, for the Forest Preserve District is that we have not done a good enough job of, of letting people know what we do actually do and, where, and all the great resources we have. And th so we believe that a smartphone application, there are a lot of people, young people, and not so young people who use smartphones. And really, this is a way to get the information to them in a way that they can use it. And, and it means we don't have to print as many printed materials and maps. They can look it up on their on their smartphone. So this is, a, this is you know, taking advantage of technology, which we think is important, along with, you know, we're upgrading our, um, our new website, which, is, uh, which was launched yesterday. So 
Uh, this is the way that people are accessing information. And one of the, the big knocks on the district, frankly, is that not enough people know what we do. And so this is one way that we think is essential. It is essential that more people know about what we do. And this is one way for them to find out. Well, I have a smartphone, except it's a lot smarter than I am. Commissioner <laughs> Silvestri? Yeah, I was going to say, you don't have to be, uh, I have a smartphone too. You don't have to be young to use the app. Uh, the phone <coughs> makes you smarter. Yeah. What uh, I know that this project has been ongoing. When will it be completed and how will the district advertise the fact that this app is available? Um, it should be done. Um, it should be done within the next month and a half. It's been going on. We're pushing to have our, our IT folks get it wrapped up as soon as possible, but it's working with um, with, with Apple and, and other folks to make sure that they're all the approvals and it's done in a way that that's acceptable to them as well. Uh, we want to roll it out. Um, we probably will do some sort of press event around it as well and roll it out on our, on our new website as well. But um, we're open to ideas about getting the word out. But th again, this is, this is sort of how do, you, how do you make it more accessible to people? This is a big deal for us, I think. This is a, no, I, I, I support the uh, initiative to do it. I just want to make sure that people know that we have it. I agree. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely roll out. We'll do some press around it as well. All righty. Thank, thank you. you. Commissioner Gaynor. Superintendent, will you have the ability to track the number of people who sign up for the iPhone app and how they use it to have some sort of an outcome to determine if it was a successful use of funds? Yes, my staff is shaking their head yes, so yes, there is a way to track it. Uh, it uh, when are you going to get up and speak a little bit more in more detail to that? I don't need a lot of more detail. I just want to know that you'll report back to us how many people have yeah. used it and, you know, and whether or not it was, we may want to consider these things for other applications and so are they, is it actually useful? Yes. Uh, Steve Mayberry, Public Information Officer. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, board, Mr. Chairman, um, the uh, app is going to be something that is on both iPhone and BlackBerry. Uh, it's going to be downloadable for free to the users. We're going to be working with Apple to check the traffic for how many people are downloading the app. Um, with regard to its functionality, uh, this actually came about because the question was asked, if I'm in a forest preserve and I want to get out, how do I find my way out? If I want to go to a forest preserve that I've never been to before and I'm just in my car, how can I find that forest preserve? This essentially takes all of our mapping, all of our GIS information and puts in one application. Uh, we will expand it. This is kind of a 1.0 incarnation. Um, as time goes along, we want to be able to put events in there. We want to be able to put more images in there. But with regard to how we launch, it's going to be great because when you have 68,000 acres of open space, you need to be able to find your way around, and this lets folks do that. So I know that they can map how people use these things, so it's not just who has the number of people who've downloaded it, but actually how they've used it. Yep. So that would be useful. Just It's okay just, tell, just to come back to us at some point and tell us what the results were. Sure. Absolutely. Commissioner Murphy. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I want to congratulate you. The county has been dragged kicking and screaming into the 21st century, and you finally have done something very positive to get us there. Um, I, I think that this is a great, great step forward, and I would suggest that you use Comcast to advertise the fact that we have this. They'll do some public service announcements for us, and also on our own uh, county uh, television. Um, another thing that you might want to do is uh, at the Botanic Gardens and the zoo put flyers uh, because they're all part of our FBD yes. and uh, put flyers out that will announce that this is happening. And um, I, I think it's great. So congratulations. Thank you, Commissioner. Those are great recommendations. We'll follow up. Any other comments? There being none, uh, the question is, shall the disbursements be approved as presented? All those in favor of signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed nay. Mr. Mr. Chair. Chairman. Yes. Please record me as voting president 111689 and 111696. Commissioner Tobolsky. Mr. Chairman, please uh, record me as voting president on item number 111692. Despite the division of the question, the motion carries. Vice, Vice or Mr. Silvestri. Uh, Chairman Goslin, I move the approval of item number two, which is the litigation subcommittee report of February 8th. A second. Discussion? Commissioner Murphy. Any other questions? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed nay. Division. Division. Uh, please uh, record me as voting no under invoices for approval number four and five. Second. Commissioner Collins. Anyone else? Despite the division of the question, the motion carries. Revenue report, Vice Chairman Steele. Chair, uh, move to receive and file item number three, re the revenue report. As amended. As amended, I'm sorry. Is there a second? Second. Okay, before we begin, uh, leave, they ask Mr. Kemp to come up here and give us a report on the, um, a report on the report. Uh, 
Marlo Kemp, Chief Financial Officer. Uh, uh, for the first month of uh, the fiscal year 2011, our total revenues have come in at uh, approximately $5.4 million. Uh, this is driven largely by uh, the property tax revenues received of nearly $4 million, and that is because uh, the property tax bills went out uh, and were due December 13th. So while we would expect uh, there to be some early payers for uh, March 2011, uh, this probably reflects, this reflects more of the fact, or April, sorry, April 2011, this reflects more of the fact that we have uh, late bills or receipts coming in for fiscal year 2010. And so that has uh, you know, driven us up uh, a, a bit higher than expected. Our expenditures this year, or so far this year, have come up to uh, $2.2 million. Um, so what we're, what we're seeing is, again, the net uh, of about $3 million. What we're seeing is uh, the, the fact that our property tax revenues have been received for 2010 a bit later than anticipated but that's getting us off to a, a very good start in uh, 2011. Great, thank you. Any questions? The mean one, the question is, shall the revenue report be received and filed? All those in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Polls nay. Pinning the chair, the motion carries. Motion to adjourn by Commissioner Daly. Second, Second by Commissioner Silvestri. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Polls nay. Pinning the chair, motion carries. Meeting's adjourned, thank you.